I like I like making work that invites people into it that aren't necessarily our people. The people that are intelligent and curious that are just they like exploring and that's the way they already are. I like work that when they see it they they'll appreciate it. It's not putting up a barrier like you need an art history degree to understand, you know, what this is. My name is Ben Weeks. I'm an illustrator and I've been working for nine years with various designers and uh, creative people. You can look at my work and com make comparisons to artists. Like you could say, oh, it looks like Keith Haring or something. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Keith Haring influenced me because when I saw Keith Haring's work, Keith Haring's work for the first time, I was just like, yeah, that's how you draw. But people like Sagmeister, conceptually, I think, influence me a lot because they just have, uh, they're very, he's very self-aware and uh, very deliberate about what he's doing. And uh, those kind of, his, his ideas, like moving people's hearts with graphic design, those kinds of ideas and staying small and being able to be choosy about what projects you take on and trying to make, having a sense of conceptual art almost in your work. Those ideas I love. I don't know if I'm successful with achieving that or not, but I love those, those principles. Sometimes in my work, the priority is weighted towards strong conceptual work. And the idea, the concept is the key at, at that, in that kind of work. And uh, the message and the, the icons and the symbols all are, are very, very important in, in, uh, in how that work is made. So it's about the thinking. So that could be one approach, but another is the mood and the aesthetic of the piece and how we use the language of form to express those feelings. Uh, so color and composition and rhythm and how the negative spaces between things work. So balancing those factors. I think the idea of design is change. Adjusting things to improve life. That's an important value to me. Um, people expressing who they are and exploring and um, imagining and creating things together. It's, um, it's part of the human experience and uh, to me that's, that's the ripple effect that I would love to have my work create if possible. So when my daughter draws, she just does whatever she wants and picks up any color and there's no sense of boundaries or limitations to the way that she's expressing herself and I think that in my work I like to have those characteristics or those, those ideas or feelings be part of, of the way that I express myself now as an adult as well. I know that people can, uh, even for me, I can, I can lose lose touch with that as hard times come or as I make mistakes with things uh, or um, you know there's different traumatic things that can happen for people but underneath it all we are our human beings and we are immensely valuable and we can achieve amazing things if we're not afraid to express uh, these ideas that we have and uh, give these gifts to the world and um, so allowing people to express their creativity, if I can inspire them to do that through mine, then that would be great. <laughs>